Driving along the coast of Lake Michigan, you would never know what's lying hundreds of feet below the water's surface. This morning, NBC 26's Jana Bree tells us how you can take a dive into some local history. I don't think they're going to be there forever. They might have maybe another 100, 150 years, and they might be gone after that. Dave DiZeo has been exploring Wisconsin Lakeshore shipwrecks for decades. I used to flight instruct here in Manitowoc back in the 1980s. And we used to see the shipwrecks down in the water. And I thought everybody knew about them. But the people that were walking on the beach, you know, they'd walk right by them and they had no clue that they were there. This summer, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, designated the Wisconsin Shipwreck Coast, a 962 square mile area from two rivers to Port Washington, a national marine sanctuary. There's a heritage here. And I think this marine sanctuary now, they call this like heritage recreation. This is something new that they're trying to get people to come and see that, that there is a maritime heritage in this area. You know, there's hundreds of years of uh, shipping and, and ships that have been in this area. An estimated 122 shipwrecks sank along the coast, but there are only 36 ones that are known. There's a lot out there yet to be discovered. They're just so well preserved. The cold, fresh water preserves wrecks here in the Great Lakes like nowhere else in the world. And so it, it's like having time capsules on the bottom of the lake. So from a museum, an archaeological or historical perspective, that's absolutely fantastic. Now that the coast is officially a marine sanctuary, NOAA will provide funding and research to help communities like Manitowoc protect the shipwrecks and promote tourism of them. It's something, you know, that Manitowoc has a history of that, and it's something that uh, we can show and be proud of as citizens here. If you want to see the wrecks with your own eyes, you don't need an airplane or fancy scuba gear. The wrecks range from 10 feet to 400 feet underwater, so you can see a lot of stuff just from a kayak or a boat, or you can grab a swimsuit and some goggles, as long as you can brace the cold water. In Manitowoc, Jenna Bree, NBC 26.